Oh, welcome back. Thanks for joining us here at Great Iron TV, and we're now joined by Sheffield and Richard Batty. Richard, thanks for joining us on the show. Thank you. So let's just start with a congratulations for this weekend. Uh, a very impressive result against the Presidents. How did the game go? Uh, I think the scoreline would probably say it was fairly one-sided, and uh, to be honest, uh, it was. We played very well every aspect of the game probably with the exception of some of our special teams, but offensively and defensively, we stepped it up from the week before. Yeah, it's, uh, overall, it's been a very successful season for yourselves, um, uh, doing very well and, and looking like you're going for a, a top playoff spot. So how how are the guys feeling that this year in, in general has, has gone for you? Uh, I mean, from game one, I pointed out to the guys that uh, this was a journey. We can't look at each game is an individual success it's got to be a full year of a success or it's no success uh, one game is pretty much the same as uh, the next as far as they're concerned and I keep the feet on the ground and I think they would tell you that, that there is no looking uh, backwards it's all looking forwards and uh, what happened at the weekend has gone we're now focused on our next game and uh, we have to do that we can't we can't look as though uh, from behind and say, oh, didn't we do really well this game? Didn't we do well in that game? Because it doesn't matter. It's what you do in the next game. If you want to be successful, you have to be that focused. And that was one of the keys at the beginning of the year, was to focus the guys and, and point them in the right direction and make sure that they kept that sort of mindset all the way through. Yeah. As you mentioned, you're you're looking just towards the next game and not looking to the past. And your, your next games coming up are against teams like the Romans and the Titans, who are chasing you closely to try and to take that, that top spot off you. Um, yeah. well, how, what have you made from, from their seasons? Uh, have you had a chance to, to see much of them in action? Yeah, I mean, we've played, uh, we played the uh, Romans last year. They were a good team. They beat us uh, away at theirs, and we managed to uh, return the favour when they came to us, and we beat them. And uh, we've seen Manchester this year. We played them at our place, and... Uh, we beat them and we learned some lessons on that day uh, about uh, the character of the team. We went, I think it was 28, uh, 20 to 8 down at one point and uh, no one on the sideline was panicking. Uh, the players just shrugged it off. It was just a day at the office for them. They, they pulled it together. Uh, defensively, we made a few adjustments and uh, kept the score at the 20 and offensively, they just upped the gears. They just went through the gears. And uh, it was a fairly convincing win in the end. And I'm sure they will have made some adjustments from uh, how uh, they went with us. And I'm sure Chester will have scouted us, uh, as we have them. And I'm really looking forward to those two games. And uh, they're going to be difficult. And I think we're uh, we're looking forward to the challenge uh, that those two games will bring us. And we're hearing from a lot of teams now that it, it's this time of the season where um, potentially injuries are piling up, or you know, you know, guys have been through a lot of games. So, uh, how are the squad looking at the moment in terms of are, are they feeling fresh, or is, is there any injury scares? You always get injuries. I mean, that's just a fact of the game. Uh, we've got a couple of guys who are going to be out for uh, a couple of uh, weeks, but we've also had guys that haven't been able to play up until the last couple of weeks. We've got a big squad. I mean, I, I don't think that's a secret. We've got, I think, 55 guys on our roster. And on any given game day, we've got 45 guys kitted up. And uh, we've got some real good depth. We've got some guys in there challenging for positions. And they know they've got guys on the heels. So they, that's why they're playing to a high standard. And even when we're having to make adjustments and put guys in when guys come off, they're not missing a beat. And, and that's down to the fact that they're a cli uh, close, tight unit. Uh, they've trained all season together. They know what we want of them and uh, they just don't let each other down. And while we're going to miss a couple of guys for a couple of weeks, hopefully those injuries uh, will be overcome. And the guys that step up, it's the next guy in. It's always the same with sports. Next guy up, earn that spot, keep that spot. And that's how we've, uh, in, that's, that's what we've instilled in. Yeah, well, it sounds like the, the team's going really well and you've got a great unit there. So good luck for the, the rest of the year and hopefully we'll be able to catch up with you at some point soon. Absolutely. Thank you, Alan. Cheers.